All right, and uh, today uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll just show you a nice little toy that I picked up uh, just today. Uh, this is uh, the HP touchpad. Uh, I'm sure anybody that's uh, heard these uh, basically went out. Um, uh, HP actually decided that uh, they weren't going to do these anymore and decided to sell them off for $100 for the 16 gig. Um, I believe $150 for the... Um, uh, 32 gig but this is the 16 gig and this is the box that comes in um, I have opened this already but I just kind of wanted to show you guys uh, kind of what we were looking at here um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up um, so just slides right out the side there um, this of course is the tablet and I'm gonna go ahead and just set this aside for just a moment um, this right here um, they ship you of course the uh, USB cable here and um, the well charger as well there um, so that's pretty much everything there and you've got a, a small little manual and stuff in here nothing abnormal little warranty information that sort of thing nothing we really need to go over but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this here um, of course this is why you're probably watching the video so this is the HP tablet here um, it's pretty nice uh, immediately whenever I picked it up I automatically started thinking iPad um, it very much reminded me of the um, the first gen iPad as far as the thickness and everything else. Um, but uh, we've got the uh, uh, front end camera here, and we've even got a little home button here. Um, as far as that, it's pretty sleek, um, looks pretty nice. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just open this up for you. Um, of course, I have set some wallpapers and stuff here for myself. Um, this thing, uh, even loading it up, is, is pretty basic. Um, and keep in mind, with WebOS... It is just that. It is very basic. Um, there's not, uh, there, well, let me put it this way. There is a lot to be desired out of this operating system, given it is still very new to tablet. Um, but even at that, um, hopefully one day we'll see some uh, adjustments with this as far as the Android. Um, I know right now they're working on that, but I'm going to go ahead and just unlock this. So basically just kind of a little Android feel to me. Um, just kind of unlock that, so drag that off. This is the home screen, and for you, well, for those that are familiar with uh, Android tablets and iPad tablets, well, pretty much this operating system is a lot different than um, the, more so than uh, iOS. Um, as far as Android, um, you still kind of get that feel from it because you do have this down here, a little launch section. I'm going to go ahead and open that up for you. And then you've got all these different sections here. As you can see, there's tabs up at the top. I can swipe through those. Um, but basically, here's my apps download section. So whenever you go to the HP App Store, uh, basically this is where everything is going to load. Then you would just click hold and move it over to wherever you would like. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of open up. Uh, we're going to start with just a basic um, thing here. So the browser. Um, pretty much the browser, very basic. Um, but it works. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead. I already had something loaded up here. Um, just move that off the way. And we're going to move this back up. I'm just going to open up the Grim Project website here. Um, just the blog. Um, so pretty much it, it's pretty smooth. I've noticed it does kind of lock up every now and then. It, um, But for the most part, this operating system is uh, um, it, it's pretty steady. I mean, it's... Uh, durable. I mean, there's really not a lot wrong with it for the most part, um, aside from this little small glitches and stuff. But I mean, as you can see, it displays everything pretty well. Um, it's very much, you know, iPhone, iPad, you know, um, Android, just about everything, you know, just kind of standard nowadays for, um, touch devices and tablets. Um, but for the most part, that's the, um, the web browser and you know of course uh, this is a little different you kind of go into a card view with this um, which was this was a big adjustment for me um, because you can't throw actual icons on the um, the desktop if you will um, so you're kind of left with this you get these icons down here the five set that um, and you can move those out you can swap them out um, but unfortunately that's kind of what you're limited to there um, as far as the actual application or the um, 
multitasking, that sort of thing. Um, I have noticed that once you have more applications open, it does start to bog down a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and just open a couple different things here. Um, actually, I'm not going to open my email. I'll go ahead and just open this. And open this. Just kind of show you what we're looking at here. I'm just going to get rid of this. I mean, this is a card view, and I'm actually going to go ahead and tilt this around um, just to kind of, and of course, you see the latency in the system. Um, it takes a minute to pick it up a lot of the times. There you go. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of one of the issues that I've noticed. It's not real um, sensitive to that sort of thing. The tilt sensor is not real sensitive. But uh, this was one thing I really did kind of like um, about the system, or the um, operating system, if you will is uh, this little card view thing. It's really handy, um, but I felt like this wasn't, um, this wasn't quite what I wanted um, out of this. I, I felt like there was a lot more you could potentially do with this, and I just feel like this is taking up a lot more space than what's really needed. Um, I mean, even just, you know, maybe, maybe like little icons down here for each one of those. I mean, that's really all you would need, and then, you know, make this available to um, or for something else, maybe widgets or something like that. Um, there is widgets available since the op well, since the App Store is still very limited. Um, there's, of course, not much. I think there was maybe two or three in there, at least that were good that I would see. Uh, Weather app, really, um, was the only one I really saw. But this is a nice little feature that I did find. Um, I, I've been doing this a lot, like whenever I have, um, like I'm in, you know, productivity mode where I'm just kind of going through stuff and I have multiple things open, but I have chat window, email, you know, contacts, uh, my calendar all open at once. I mean, I'm not going to be generally using those, um, but if, you know, if I get any kind of notification, I will, you know, in fact, check those. Um, but uh, you can kind of merge those together and they're still pretty easy. And as you can see, you can just go through, open those. And then if you want, you can reorganize that way. And then if you don't want that there, you open it there. And of course, whenever you open new, um, I'll go ahead and just open, let's do the browser here. So we'll open the browser. And of course, this does open um, into another section rather than this initial section here. Of course, you do have the search bar at the top and um, standard notifications. Um, I do like this little widget thing here. This is this is pretty handy. Um, kind of a settings manager, which is pretty nice. Um, and uh, go ahead and unmute that. But for the most part, um, I mean, it's not a bad operating system whatsoever. Um, it's still really new, really fresh. Um, I'll be interested to see if we actually do um, see any additions to this. Um, I know we've heard a lot about HP offering this to other um, companies for their devices. Um, but against Android, I'm just not really sure if it's going to hold up. Um, but we'll see, I guess. I mean, this could really turn out to something for, you know, into something really good. Um, I mean, it's really clean. It works well. Um, very few bugs from what I've seen so far. Um, I really enjoy this. And um, I mean, with the integration thing, which I've got to show you this, this is great. Um, the applications or the accounts here. Um, this was one of the things, I mean, immediately whenever you start the thing, uh, this is kind of what you're given. Um, but this is great because you can actually just go in and basically just add every account that you want. This, this decides to load up yet again, latency issues. Um, pretty much you're given these list of accounts here and you can add any of those counts and apparently add more. I didn't really find anything in there that I wanted though. Um, like I said, I mean, this is kind of one of the downfalls of the operating system, but, uh, hopefully, um, here in the near future, we'll see a, a new improvement on, um, the, uh, Android portion to this and hopefully get that ported over. But for the most part, um, this is kind of what we're looking at here and I hope you guys enjoyed it and, uh, please visit the blog and of course, uh, check out our other videos. Thanks.